Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to separate a image from a background to give a 3D look to the photograph by using a drop shadow. Very easy, very quick to use. The first thing we're going to do is make a background copy by pressing Ctrl and the letter J. And as you can see we've created a copy on that. Then we go up to image canvas size and on this I'm just going to put two centimeters in width two centimeters in height that will vary depending on the size of your image this is only a small image just for the video making sure that the canvas extension color is set to white click OK and as you can see now I've got a framing around the actual image itself now we need to separate the image from the background to give it that drop shadow effect that's um, making it look as though it's jumping off the page. To do that we go to the FX button on the right hand side, click it, drop down to drop shadow, a box will open up. The opacity is 75, you can leave it at that, but the angle we want that setting at 45. From there then we're going to move the distance away from the image itself the spread just slightly out but the size we want it more or less diffusing a little bit more so we'll go up a little bit and that's it it's as simple as that click OK and as you can see now it looks like the image is jumping off the page um, very easy and very nice effect uh, to finish it off go to layer flatten the image and there you go it's as simple as that very quick very nice technique and it's nice to show it online as well so I hope you've enjoyed that if you've liked it please give us a thumbs up if you haven't then give us a thumbs down but whatever I hope it's helped you out thanks for now bye bye